we're about to move to the new shop starting today. And I was out in the old shop doing some old school sheath making for some of the ones that we haven't automated yet. So I thought you might like to see how I used to do the sheath making. All right, so I use an, an old school t-shirt press. Not actually, it's not even old school. It's just a t-shirt press. Amazon people. I don't know how many Kydex guys in the industry are doing this, but I really got tired of camera wife putting them on the... Uh, we used a griddle, like a flat griddle forever. We did that, and that was even after we did... Uh, like a little not easy bake oven what's the thing you know the little miniature ovens yeah yeah those things <laughs> a lot of people, toaster oven. toaster oven a lot of people do the toaster oven and this is a vacuum press now don't be excited this guy went out of business it was hd industrial design it uses an air conditioning vacuum pump and a vacuum table that's it so when this thing goes off open this I use my hands I turn this on and it'll pull a vacuum and I made these molds out of existing blades with handles on them so that I could get it perfect all right so I vacuum it down until it gets cool to the touch I usually have my air hose over here and I'll just blow air on it to get it really cold so I release the pressure and then what I would normally do is start another two kydexes while that all that's going on so that I can just kind of keep the cycle going. Okay, so this is an acrylic bender. Uh, I got it off of Amazon. I don't really know if anybody else uses them, but I'll take the sheets. You take it, lay it on there. I put this little weight on there. I hit my timer. Adjust, yeah, the temperature, it took years to get the temperature just right. Duration, it took forever. You know, Volteron is different than Kydex. So after you do that part, I have, I would make one perfect sheath, right? And once I got it perfect, I would cut it in half. I'd break it open and cut it in half on the thing. So then I take this as like my template and I'll just take a pencil and draw my screw holes in the outline. And I basically became my own CNC machine doing all this crap. So I'll do that. And normally at this point, I would drill the holes, but I've already moved the drill press so that one's done pull it off fold it you know i will get the system down where i would just replicate 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 over and over and over and over then i come over to the bandsaw and you can see the lines on there and this is one of those swag off roads for my milwaukee So I'll just get a rough outline. This is just a oscillating belt sander so that I can get the edges flat and this is a three quarter radius. These things come with all different sizes here. So I'll just grind it to the line. Put the thumb ramp in. Put the finger well in. So there's that again that's a harbor freight tool but it works great and then this is just a uh i like this rikon low speed long shaft buffer because if you do it on high speed you'll smoke your kydex and these are kydex buffing wheels and then i turn the fan on or the vacuum i'm trying to pull the dust in there and these kydex buffing wheels make short work of it and they do really they make it really pretty and then i'll take it over to the air compressor to blow the blow this crap out on the little doodads and stuff and then i'll drop it in the sonic cleaner to clean it out all right so basically that's it this is my old school fold over style sheets that are still great they're just very labor intensive so i've streamlined the process i've already moved the uh, drill press out so there'd be two holes in here but then after this point i clean it and i put a knife in it and i ship it to you that's it